An organic compound contains 64.88% of carbon, 13.51% of hydrogen, and 21.61% of oxygen. Calculate the empirical formula and the molecular formula of the compound if the molecular mass is 74 grams. The next question there says, write the possible structural formula of the compound and name the compound. So there are three problems here. First is to find the empirical formula of the compound. Second is to find the molecular formula of the compound. And the last problem is to draw the structure of the compound and give the name of that compound. So we start with the first problem, which says find the empirical formula. Remember how to find the empirical formula? Bring out the percentage of each of the elements given. Carbon is given as 64.88%. Hydrogen is given here as 13.51%. And the percentage of oxygen given is 21.61%. Before we start solving, what we need to confirm is that the percentage is given, the sum of all the percentages is 100%. And as you can see, if you add this, this, and this together, you have 100. Now, the first step in finding a empirical formula is to divide each one with its atomic mass. I will divide this by 12 because atomic mass of carbon is 12. Atomic mass of hydrogen is 1, so I will divide by 1. Atomic mass of oxygen is 16. I will divide by 16. If you carry out this division, you are going to have for carbon 5.41. This divided by this will give us this. This divided by 1 will give us the same thing, 13.51. And for oxygen, if you divide this, you are going to have 1.35. If I carry out these divisions, these are the values I will get. Remember the second step, after the first division, the next thing to do is to divide all by the smallest number. Here I have 5.41, here I have 13.51, and this one is 1.35. Among the three values, use the smallest among them to divide all of them. And the smallest is 1.35. So I'll divide all by 1.35. I'll be divide by 1.35, divide by 1.35, and divide by 1.35. If I carry out this division, I'll notice that this one will give me 1, this will give me 10, and this will give us 4. And use your calculator to confirm this. This over this is this, this over this is 10, and this over this is 1. After this, we can now find the empirical formula. Therefore, our empirical formula, empirical formula becomes carbon appeared how many times? 4. We have C4. Hydrogen appeared 10 times. I have 10. And oxygen appeared only once. That is O. And this is the empirical formula for this compound in question. That is C4 H10 O. That is the empirical formula. Second so question says find the molecular formula if the molecular mass is 64 grams. Let's do that immediately. We are going to find the molecular formula. How do you find molecular formula? Remember this, to find molecular formula, collect your empirical formula, put it in a bracket, like this. This is C4 H10O. Then multiply it with a constant. You can call the constant N. If you multiply your empirical formula, which you have got with a constant, it can be N, it can be X, it can be any letter. If you multiply it together, it will be equal to the molecular mass, which is given to you as 74. Now, the next thing to do is to find the value of that constant you brought in, which is n. So if I make n solid of formula, 
n will become 74 divided by the empirical formula, which is C4 H10O. Now, the next thing to do is to change, for me to find the value of n, I have to change the elements into their atomic masses. Whenever I see carbon, I will replace it with 12. Whenever I see hydrogen, I will replace with 1. And whenever I see oxygen, I will replace with 16. That will give us something like 74 divided by, this is carbon, which is 12. I will have 12 times 4, because carbon appeared 4 times. Plus, hydrogen is 1. I will replace it 1 times 10, because it appeared 10 times. Plus, oxygen is 16, and it appeared only once. Now, if you carry out this, you are going to have that N is equal to 74 divided by, everything here will give you 74. Therefore, your N is equal to 1. So the value of N is 1. Now that we have gotten the value of N, our molecular formula becomes molecular formula. Remember, your molecular formula is equal to the empirical formula times the value of n which you have gotten. So that will give us, our n is 1. So I'll say my empirical formula which is this, multiplied by the value of n, and my n is 1. That will give us, 1 times 4 here will give me 4, C4. 1 times 10 here will give me 10, H10. And 1 times 1, oxygen here is 1. And 1 times 1 here is O1. So this is the molecular formula. Remember that empirical formula is equal to molecular formula when your value of n is 1. When the constant is equal to 1, it means that empirical formula will be the same with molecular formula because 1 multiplied by the empirical formula will give you the same thing. Okay, the third question here says, Write the possible structure of the compound and name the compound. So we are going to write the structure of this compound. After writing the structure, we name it. That is what this next question there says. And that is question 1BII. Now the molecular formula. For you to name a structure, or to write the structure, to draw the structure, what you need is the molecular formula. And the molecular formula we have here says C4H10O. Let's draw a structure that has this. C4, this is 1. 2, 3, and 4. Like this. This is our C4. That is four carbon atoms. H10, let's see. Let's distribute the 10 hydrogens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. These are the 10 hydrogens. Then one oxygen, which means one of the hydrogen atoms is converted to OH. This is C4 H10 1O. And the name of this is butanol. Butanol. I can as well call it because my OH is at position 1. In this case, I can call it butan 1O. Remember, all is the OH. The OH is the all. So either you call it butanol or you call it butan, one all. And this is the solution to question number 1B. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video, we are going to look at question number 2 and we provide answers for that. Do not forget to share this video with your classmates and your friends and tell them to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.